Hi guys, I have been getting some ideas from you guys for uh, new videos and one of those ideas is the cable management for the Tivo Tarantula. I have been pushing back that idea for a while because my printer is not a good example when it comes to the cable management. And all because I've been assembling and disassembling my printer so many times for my videos and for that reason I never bothered to fix the cables. But this week I have a brand new printer to assemble so it's the perfect time to film my cable management and show you guys. And hopefully this can give you ideas and help you make your own. So this is the printer and I will start with the easiest the power cables. The power cables go straight to the power supply. Here is a no-brainer. I didn't use the plastic cable protection all the way up because I like to check the cable's temperature from time to time. I never had any issues with my printer and my cables are always cold, but I think it's a good practice to keep an eye on things. Also, because my printer is on a wooden base, I have most of these cables held down so that they don't move. This will help to maintain them, and especially the connections, in a good shape all the time. While the power cables go to the right side, the heat bed cables go to the left. The stepper cables are arranged like this. The printer comes with a couple of long ones and a couple of short ones. I use the short one for the x-axis, so this way I don't have a long cable hanging there. I tested the length and it works. As long as you don't place the main board too low, there are no worries. Regardless of your setup, don't forget to test the lengths first by moving the axis all the way up and down to make sure everything works fine and you have enough cable. As you can see, I use this profile plastic covers to secure some of the cables. I use small pieces here on the top and back here to secure the Y-axis stepper motor and end stop cables. All these cables that come from or to the hot end, I gather them all together with the tube and with the zip ties. Some of you guys like to use those cable tidy things, but I don't because I like to have the tube visible so I can see the filament going in or out when loading or unloading the filament. But hey, that's my personal choice. There is not much space available inside these plastic covers, so I can't get all of them inside. The hot end heater wires go all the way through here, and they are secured with zip ties at the standoffs, here at the side. The nozzle temperature sensor cable, which are a couple of very thin and long wires, go through here, and what's left? it's hidden behind the main board. Also behind the main board go a couple of end stop wires. These are the Y and the Z end stops. An important note when hiding wires behind the main board. Make sure that the cable's insulation are not being punctured by the solder joint on the back side of the main board. Also make sure that they will not move out of place or they might end up coming out from the sides and jamming the z-axis. The flat cables are the worst. In this case, the display will move around so it doesn't have a fixed position and therefore the cables will be loose. I pass them on the right side of the board and secure it with the zip ties on the standoffs. If you have your display in a fixed position, just pass the flat cables along with the metal profile. Last but not least is the heat bed cable. It is very important to secure it here in this corner of the heat bed because if not, with the bed always moving back and forth, 
will stress this connector and eventually loosen up the connections. And believe me, you do not want that to happen as it can burn the connector. Secured like this, the wires will not pull or push the connector. The cable then makes the curve and then goes all the way to the front. And, like I said before, it can be strapped down somewhere here. Same thing applies here. If you prevent them from moving, twisting, bending, etc., the quality of the connections will last much longer. The heat bed temperature sensor wires go through here, which is the shortest way. And this is my cable management. Hope you guys like it. If you have other ideas or questions, leave your comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!